Hi, this is Mike Nichols, the content and social media manager for AEM. Today, I've got James Logan with me to provide some perspective on the synthesis report that was just released by the United Nations Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change. James is our water sector leader here at AEM, and over the course of his career, he's been involved in the design, development, and implementation of literally hundreds of environmental monitoring systems throughout the United States and abroad. He's also been responsible for a number of hydrologic consulting studies related to water resource management. So James, we're really happy to have, have you sharing some of your expertise with us today. So just from my own kind of shallow read of this IPCC synthesis report, it sounds like it's basically saying we're facing some pretty severe global consequences as a result of climate change. But, and they hold out that there's still a little, some hope that we can avoid the very worst of the consequences. Well, I I think that global warming, um, even even though their their intention is to try and slow it down, it's still already had an impact. We've already have global warming, and we have environmental impacts that that have already happened. We have risk related impacts that are causing more risk to us, and the the um, the agencies that we work with to to that are um, concerned about water. They have to adapt and find ways for themselves to adapt to these types of problems and and um, and find ways to deal with them. Okay, no, that makes sense. Um, so, what do you think this adaptation needs to look like? Well, um, for for example, there's another study I read that shows that in the U.S. that that rainfall today is 27 percent more rainfall than fell in 1950. So the so that that extra rainfall that we have, we the systems and the infrastructure we have has to deal with it. And mu much of our infrastructure in the U.S. was designed based on historical rainfall amounts, and that rain those rainfall amounts are increasing dramatically. And so the designs of systems have to be modified to manage and deal with that rainfall. So we have to do a better job of of managing excess water that's happening. We have to do a better job of managing drought that's happening in other locations. And so, so we, we, we have to um, re, redesign the way we do things so that we're dealing with things in today's climate. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so we wanna uh, be brief here today, James, so I'm gonna wrap things up, but do you have any final thoughts to share with the audience? Well, I, I just think it's important for all the agencies that are out there to 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 now sort of put some effort towards the um, them identifying what can happen to them related to these impacts of of climate change, and include it in their long term planning so that they are, are so the the cities and states and countries that are dealing with it can have long term resiliency deal you know because dealing with what is the outcome of this climate change. Perfect. Well, James, thank you again for being here. Thank you for the conversation. Really appreciate you sharing your insights. This is Mike Nichols. Until next time.